Hello everybody, my name is Emmett, and today I'm going to be doing a review for the Dick Company Basic Packer. So I did do an unboxing for this, um, and just like in that one, fair warning, if you don't want to see a realistic looking prosthetic, then you probably don't want to watch this, so I'll give you just a second to click away. And this is what the prosthetic looks like. So uh, just like I said in the unboxing, uh, this is very, very soft. Um, you probably won't really be able to tell just how soft it is just from a video, but it is very, very soft. Uh, something else that is really cool about this prosthetic is it does have the option. Uh, you can get it with floating testicles. I know you probably won't really be able to see, but if you feel here, you can feel there are two uh, separate uh harder ovals in here uh for testicles so that's pretty cool um and also this particular one is uncircumcised uh you can get all of these in a circumcised or uncircumcised model um for all of the different sizes that they have uh and the company also makes pack and plays uh in addition to these basic packers and I believe they also have plans to make STPs, but I don't think those are out yet. Uh, but I'm pretty sure they do have plans to make STPs too. Uh, so as you can see, it has a large tab. Um, so if you wanted to adhere this, uh, you could. Uh, you might have to trim the tab down a little bit because it is pretty big. As you can see, it's almost the size of my hand. Um, but I see that as a plus, uh, cause that gives you the ability, if you do choose to sort of trim the tab down, uh, then, you know, you have more than enough material to, uh, make it fit you specifically. So that's actually really nice in my opinion. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up, but eh, you can see it a little bit, but there is like a skin texture on this tab, uh, which is really nice. Um. Personally, I always think it's a nice touch when they have like sort of a skin texture on the tab uh, rather than it just being completely smooth. Uh, but that's just me personally. And something else that's interesting is there is a little pocket here. Uh, so if you have uh, enough growth from testosterone, then you would be able to put your anatomy in this little pocket. And I think that would be a great way to sort of feel more connected to your packer rather than just, you know, having it sit there. Uh, you'd actually be able to sort of, you know, feel it move around a little bit, uh, which is really cool. Normally you'll only see something like this on pack and plays. Uh, <laughs> uh, but this is just a basic packer. So uh, I've tried a couple of different ways to pack with this. Um, I have just an O-ring harness. I have just like a soft pocket jock strap <laughs> type harness. And then I also have a harness that I got recently, uh, just like last week, um, uh, from Trans Guy Supplies, the Cake Bandit harness. And that is my preferred way of packing this. Um, I don't know that I would recommend an O ring harness just because this is so soft. I would be afraid that um, it would tear. Uh, put more stress right here on the base of the shaft and you'd have some tearing. Uh, so I would definitely recommend either a like a soft pouch type thing to pack with or um, that specific harness uh, from Cake Bandit just because of the way it sits. You still have this part against you so you can still use uh, this little sort of I guess I don't know pocket um, but the front uh, keeps everything nice and secure and you can have the shaft inside sort of the the cage that it makes or you can have the shaft outside. I prefer to pack with it inside just because I really like to feel like my packer is super super secure uh, but if you don't really like that feeling then you know you can have the shaft out and it's a little more uh, free <laughs> so to speak. So, like I said earlier, uh, you can get this in circumcised or uncircumcised models. Uh, they have sizes that I believe it's uh, two and a half inches all the way up to like six and a half or seven inches. Um, and that includes pack and plays and just 
face the Packers. Uh, so if you have a specific size that you like, chances are they have that size or something super close to it. I will include a link to the company website in the description. Uh, and as always, if you guys have any specific questions about this product, or if you have any videos or anything that you'd like me to make in the future, <laughs> please let me know in the comments down below. Um, I read all of the comments that you guys post, um, and I try to use them to see what I need to do next, uh, because I want to make the content that you guys want to see. So yeah, that was my review for the Dick Company Basic Packer, and I will see you guys later.